Happy Sunday, VBC kids. I hope you're having a good day today. I miss seeing all of you at church, but we do get to have a little Bible lesson together, so I'm excited for that. Last week, those of you who watched and your parents sent me in the answer to the question about where the story and Joseph starts um, in Genesis, those of you who answered correctly, I put your names in this jar. So I have Michael, Avon, Zane, Eddie, Abigail, William, Alyssa, David, and Eric McKee. So I have your names in here and we are going to do a drawing. And in this, for this, the name who I draw out of this bowl, you will get to get a prize from my treasure chest when we come back to church. And I won't forget, and you remind me too as well. And um, I just have to say hi to Olivia if she's watching. Hi, Olivia. I saw that she was watching me last week and um, I thought that was pretty cute. So here we go. Let's see who wins for today. I'm not looking, not looking. Okay, and the papers, I the person whose name I drew is Zane. And Zane just had a birthday, so that worked out kind of good. So Zane is the winner and he will get to get a prize for my treasure chest. Congratulations, Zane. Now, those of you who are watching today and you say, I wanna win, I wanna win, listen very carefully to the story during story time. And if you can answer the question at the end, you tell your parents and they can text it to me, I will put your name in a drawing for next week. So I'm gonna put this away. Today I have a, a verse from the Bible I wanna to read to you from the book of Proverbs. And the verse is Proverbs 18, 24. It says, a man that hath friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Now we're gonna focus on the first part of that verse. It says, a man that hath friends must show himself friendly. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I wish I had more friends, or I don't know why people don't wanna play with me, or I'm, it's, I'm kind of lonely, I don't have very many friends. Well, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how we can learn from this verse to be friendly and to be to make friends. So I'm gonna to, to do that, I'm gonna show you something. These little pieces of papers right here, this represents people. Come in contact with a lot of people in your life. Maybe you have friends at school, maybe you have neighbors, maybe this could be your family, your brothers, your sisters. And you wanna have friends and you wanna get along with people. So I have two people here, people, who are gonna illustrate this for me. This boy's name is Fred. And Fred, he is very sad. You can tell he's not very happy. And he's kind of mean to people sometimes, but he's lonely and he really, really wants some friends and he kind of walks around all grumpy. I don't know why, why won't people be my friends? Now watch, I'm gonna put him down on these people. Let's see if he can make any friends. He didn't make any friends. Fred didn't make any friends. Now I'm gonna show you the difference with another person I have here. This person's name, her name is Sally. And Sally is so happy and cheerful and she walks around with a smile on her face. And when she comes to people, watch what happens. up a lot of friends just with the difference of being happy or walking around grumpy all the time and maybe you say to yourself maybe it's not easy for you and you're like I'm not being mean I just have a really hard time being friendly to people but maybe you really have to work at it do you know I'll tell you a little secret sometimes I don't want to put a smile on my face and be friendly to people you say, Miss Caroline, you really? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes when I come to school or church, I don't feel like always putting a smile on my face and being friendly, but I do want to be a good friend, and I love you all. So because I love you and I want to be a good friend, I'm going to put a smile on my face, even sometimes when I don't feel like it, and I'm going to be friendly. And this illustrates how, our, how we are makes a difference in the friends that we have. Maybe you need to be, there's a, a new person in your class and you kind of want to be their friend. Don't wait for them to come up to you. You go up to them and you say hello. You be the first one to go up to them and maybe shake their hand. Maybe offer to sit by them and you be the one to be friendly. Maybe 
you're the one who is kind of hard to get along with. And you, you're grumpy. You always have to have your own way. You're not kind and you're not nice. That's Fred right here. When you're this type of person, do you know no matter how hard he tries, he, just, he can't make any friends. And Fred needs to learn something about how he is in order to make friends. And the Bible says a man that had friends must show himself friendly. I'm going to read to you a story right now. Now, this story doesn't come from the Bible. This story is from a book that I have about Georgie the Frog. It's called Georgie the Frog. Can you see him right there? It's Georgie the Frog. And Georgie the Frog, he learns a lot of lessons in this book. And today, the lesson he's going to learn about is how to be friendly and be a good friend. And the title of this story is called, Oh, Go Away. Georgie had been swimming in the canal looking for lost toys to add to his collection on his new bookshelf when a commercial fishing boat trundled by and left a huge wake. The water tossed and tumbled Georgie all the way to the bottom of the canal. As he scrambled to swim back to the surface, he scraped his foot on a rough barnacle. Ow, 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 Georgie exclaimed as he swam slowly for home where his mother cleaned the cut and put soft mud on it to help it heal. See, there's the picture of him hurting his foot. Well, this made Georgie very grumpy. Now he couldn't play in the water for several days and his foot hurt. He went outside and sat in the yard with a scowl on his face. When Sally Siegel flew past and said, hi, Georgie, he just ignored her. So I'll show you the picture of him sitting by that tree. He's just grumpy. Then Tommy Turtle waddled past saying, greetings, my verdant friend and fellow water dweller. How are you faring this delightful morn? Tommy always used the longest and most confusing words he could think of, but otherwise he was pretty nice, Georgie thought. But today, Georgie just ignored him, didn't even reply. The twin grasshoppers, Gary and Glory, hopped into his yard and said, Hi, do you want to catch some flies with us? There they are right there. Oh, go away. Not today. And why do you two always have to talk together and say the same things at the same time? Georgie grumpily replied. Later that morning, several other friends passed by Georgie and he pretended to be sleeping so he wouldn't have to talk to them. After lunch, his foot felt a little better and he went back outside looking for someone to play with. So he felt better now and he thought, I'm gonna go play with some of my friends. He saw Sally Siegel. He called to her, hi Sally, can I go for a ride with you? Not now, Georgie, I'm busy, she said as she flew away. Next, he saw Tommy Turtle and said, hi Tommy, do you want to play checkers? Alas, no, I have a previous engagement, he said as he paddled away along the canal. Then he called to Gary and Glory and said, Hi, what are you two doing this afternoon? Nothing with you, they replied together as they hopped away. Georgie went inside his house and with a glum expression complained to his mother. I don't have any friends. Why, Georgie, what do you mean? You have lots of friends, she reassuringly said. Georgie explained how he had been so rude to several of his friends earlier that now they don't even want to play with him. Georgie, in the Bible that humans read, it says that a man that had friends must show himself friendly. This means that even when you don't feel good, you must make an effort to be friendly. Otherwise, you truly won't have any friends. But the Bible also says that there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. That is referring to our wonderful creator. He will always be your friend, even when you're grumpy. She smiled as she said this and patted him on the head. Why don't you go apologize to your friends for being rude? I'm sure that they will forgive you, she added. Georgie nodded his head, smiled, and went back outside to look for several of his friends. And Georgie learned that how he treated people really affected the fact that he had someone to play with and he had friends. And I hope that this story, I forgot to show you that last picture. 
there's the last couple friends who didn't want to play with him. This story can teach us, and this Bible verse can teach us that if we want to have friends, we have to be friendly. And I hope you will always remember the picture of that um, happy Sally face and how she attracts those people because she's a friendly person. And how when you're grumpy all the time, you're not going to have very many friends because of how you're treating people. So the fact that if you want to have more friends, you may have to be a little bit more friendly. Now, the question I have for you is this. What part of Georgie's body got hurt in this story? If you can answer this, tell your parents. They can text me the answer, and I'll put your name in a drawing for next week. Now, there's a song. The person, There's somebody who wants you to be grumpy, and then there's somebody who wants you to be happy. And this song is called The Devil Wants Everybody Grumpy. So I want you to put your hand fingers up, and I want you to make the best grumpy face you can, just like this. Grumpy look grumpy. And then we're going to sing this first verse and then we're going to make a happy face because Jesus wants us to be happy. So I, want, I hope you sing along with me and do these motions. It goes like this. The devil wants everybody grumpy. The devil wants everybody sad. The devil wants everybody grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. And he doesn't want anybody glad. Now you can make a happy face. But Jesus wants everybody happy. Jesus wants everybody glad. Jesus wants everybody happy, happy, happy. And he doesn't want anyone sad. And we can learn from this song and from this verse, a man that had friends must show himself friendly. And Jesus wants you to have friends. Jesus wants you to be a happy person. Now, as we close, I want to challenge you to ask God for two things. I want you to ask God to show you any areas in your life that maybe you aren't very kind to your friends. Maybe the way you're treating different people. Ask God. You know, sometimes I'll ask God things like that and he will show me. And if you ask God to show you, maybe ask God, I don't know why people don't want to be my friend, God. Can you show me? Am I not treating people right? And he will show you that. And then I want you to ask God to show you how you can be more friendly. Maybe you have a hard time making friends and being friendly. Ask God for ways and he will show you ways that you can be more friendly and how to be a better friend.